Now, head of European Union delegation to Nigeria, Ambassador Samuela Isopi, says the Union, Nigeria's largest trading partner, accounting for approximately one third of the country's foreign trade. She highlighted this during her farewell event in Abuja. The ambassador, who is leaving after a successful tenure, expressed deep gratitude for the support she received in Nigeria. Our diplomatic correspondent, Ama Marcus, reports. Ambassador Isopi, in her farewell speech, expressed deep appreciation for the warm welcome and collaboration she experienced during her time. She emphasized the strong ties between the European Union and Nigeria, noting that both entities are important global players with shared values and interests. I'm personally delighted to have found in the Nigerian government, the previous one and the new one, a formidable counterpart open to engage in all areas of our partnership, from peace and security to governance, human development, migration, energy, digital, everything. I'm proud of what we have done together in so many areas that are vital to the betterment of Nigerian society. The European Union, we were also mentioning the private sector, remains by far Nigeria's largest trading partner, accounting for about one third of Nigeria's foreign trade and with a balance that nobody would believe is in favor of uh, Nigeria. The European Union is also by far Nigeria's biggest investor, and hundreds of European companies are active in Nigeria and contribute to its economic growth, diversification of its economy, and most of all, the creation of decent jobs for the youth. Governor of Plateau State, Barista Caleb Muftuang, praised Ambassador Isopi for her dedication and commitment to Nigeria's development. He stressed the need to continue and strengthen the existing partnership between Nigeria and Europe. Europe needs Nigeria. Nigeria needs Europe. And it's not surprising that they are our biggest trading partner with a great deal of... Uh, credit in our favor that shows the commitment of Europe towards the development of Nigeria. It is not out of place, it is not unfounded to say that the best of Nigeria is yet to come. Other dignitaries at the event included the Minister of Arts, Culture and Creative Economy, Barrister Hanatsu Musawa, former Minister of Sports Development, Mr. Sunday Dari, former Minister of Women Affairs, Dame Pauline Talen, former State Minister of Police Affairs, Mrs. Sulaiman Ibrahim. The event was marked by emotional tributes, with Ambassador Isopi receiving gifts and special recognition from the Nigeria disability community for her advocacy and support. Ama Marcus, ADBN News.